Hello, Aaron. Hello, everybody. Uh, what? Why? Uh, hi, honey. What? How are hi. you doing? You know, my office got a call that they were shooting family portraits right here. And if there's one thing that every politician instinctively understands, it's a good photo op. <laughs> uh, okay, you're going to go through the hallway. Here's a map, and if you get lost, just follow the blue line. Thanks. Well, well, well. Senator Lipton, welcome. Angela, Dwight. nice to see you. May I hold him? Sure. No, I am going to hold him because I haven't seen him all day. I think that Dwight is doing this whole thing to um, get a sample of my baby's DNA to prove he's the father, which is impossible because the senator is the only man I've ever been with. Okay, here we go. Oh, you know what? I don't want to throw a wrench into the works, but I want everything to be perfect, and the baby's fingernails are just bothering me mm -mm, a little bit. Leave us alone. I uh, guess we're okay with the fingernails. Okay, great. Suit yourself. I can see. Although, aren't those excess skin cells in the baby's cheek distracting to you as well? Here. Dwight, just... we're fine. Oopsie, did somebody make a boopsie? Oh, I'm just gonna <laughs> take him out and change him just for a second here. He <laughs> defecated. Ooh. Oh, stinky. Okay, shall we take a few more? I think we have all the shots we need. Thank you, Dwight. Okay, here we go. Yes, here we go. Is this what you were looking for? Huh? Huh? Operation Phoenix is a go. Just get the car ready. No! God, move! God! Hi, Angela. Get out of the car! Get out! Where is he? Where is he? I'm not supposed to say. Yes! Tell me where he is! Mose! Damn it! Where did he go? Mose! Get back here! Hello? Where is it? They're testing it now. How long does it take to get the results? 72 hours. You gonna wait here? Yes. How was my summer? It was pretty mixed. I invented a new power drink made out of beet runoff. Mmm. Mmm. So that's really good. But I got some disappointing medical news. Mr. Shrew, the results are in. You're not the father. I told you. Oh! Oh my God! Question. Yes, beautiful girl in the front. We are expecting a water delivery today at 10 a.m. What if as they're delivering the water jugs, someone screams out, nice jugs? That's obviously nonsense. Nonsense. And what percentage of nonsense do we tolerate in this office? Zero. 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 Can't have nonsense. What is going on? Daycare won't take Philip anymore. Why? <sighs> Apparently my station in life has descended to a depth even they won't forgive. So, hi. Hi, buddy. Okay, um, new agenda item. Philip will be joining us at the office today. Gotta write that down. He just won't go down. It's as if he's excited by all this paper. I know. Earlier today, he tried to eat some of the 24 weight letter bond. Smart baby. That's the most flavorful bond. All day long, it's moo the cows and cluck the hens, mm -hmm. get the sheep bod, oink the pigs. Oink the pigs, that is very important. 
quite. <laughs> I'm telling you about all the things that Ma said after the horse kicked her in the head. Where are you? <laughs> Dwight. The way that boy looks at the Galactica is precisely the way I look at the Galactica. And he eats the same kind of paper I do. Hmm. Listen, listen. Shh, buddy. Stanley's sleeping. You don't want to wake up the grumpy old walrus, do you? I heard that. Mama. Hey, you want me to take the little diaper blaster? Pam can attest there's no one better at getting brats to shut their yaps. He does have a gift. Well, he's crying for his mom, but okay. Here, here we go. Careful, he bites. Mama. You ever been in a manager's office before? Philip, you want to play a little game? It's called Shroot or Consequences. You're going to choose one of these two things. A check for a million dollars or this dirty old beat. Yuck. Pew. Which will it be? Money or the beat? Beat. Yeah. I see. Any ordinary child would have taken the money, but you're no ordinary child, are you? No. I can tell by your gorgeous, widely set eyes. Hey! Did you manage to feed him? I don't know what it is. He just keeps spitting out the nipple. That's because this baby is of superior intelligence and can tell when he's being tricked out of the experience of a real human breast. Come on. He's not that smart. He doesn't know where I hit his duck. Hey, you wanted to see me? Door, chair. It's about Philip. I'm sorry he's here today, but I had this. I believe that that boy may be a shrewd. And if he is, that child needs to be accorded what is his, an enormous farm, an inheritance, and the right to be raised under rigorous shrewd traditions. You will, of course, be compensated with a marriage proposal. How thoughtful. Then the two of you would move to my 1,600-acre estate, which, let's face it, is a big step up from living in a gay man's closet. If he is your son, that's a great plan. But he's not. He's not your son. Very well. Can I go back to my desk now? Yes. What do we got? I was thinking of proposing to Esther today. Wow. OK, congratulations. That's a really big step, man. She's got a ton of great qualities. She's young, she's beautiful, genes so pure you could lick them. Her family admires me, and my family tolerates hers. A lot of them are the same people because we're third cousins, which is great for bloodlines and isn't technically incest. Right in the sweet spot. I think you're going to be really happy. Plus, her dowry contains a walk-in freezer full of frozen premium cattle sperm. That's a lot of pros. And did I mention that she weaves colorful, durable blankets and rugs? It all adds up. So what is the problem? See you guys at Poor Richard's. Okay? All right, Meredith. All right. Okay, bye. See you there. Bye, Philip. Listen, I high five. Yay! Yeah. I'm gonna drop Philip off at my mother's, and I'll meet you at Poor Richard's in an hour. You sure you don't want me to drop him off? She doesn't know I'm living with a straight woman. I don't want to get her hopes up. All right. Okay. Bye, buddy. Bye, bye, bye. Oh my goodness. This is a ring. 
taken from the buttocks of my grandmother, put there by the gangster patriarch of the Coors dynasty, melted in a foundry run by Mennonites. Okay, yes, yes, I will! <laughs> <laughs> You. I love you. And I lied to you. What? Philip's your son. What? Why would you say that? I just needed you to want to marry me because you wanted to marry me. Get out! I'm a dad! You're a dad! <laughs>